Alright, so how to carry out a hypothesis test when x follows a normal distribution? Alright, so we'll do an example. Let's say uh, x is basically amount of juice in a carton, right? And let's say the company that produces uh, these juice cartons say, says that x follows a normal with mean 60 milliliters and variance 3 squared. Right? So, this is a very random example. Now, uh, what I do is I take a a carton of juice right and I realized that the volume is not exactly 60 milliliters it's it actually weighs less so what I do is I try to carry out a hypothesis test to see whether my claim that is uh, the mean is not is less than 60 uh, is right or not right so to carry out a hypothesis test um, there are a few steps if you go stepwise step one is declaring your null hypothesis and your alternative hypothesis so your null hypothesis in this case will be h naught is mean is 60 milliliters as claimed by the company and your alternative hypothesis is mu is less than 60 that is my claim right so what I do is um, I take a sample right I take a sample of uh, juice boxes juice cartons right and I find sample me alright so let's say I take a sample of 12 cartons and my X bar that is the sample mean turns out to be 59.1 so there is an uh, there is a slight possibility that my claim is right that the mean has uh, is basically less than 60 milliliters and it's not 60 as claimed by the company so step 3 will be will be declaring that x bar follows a normal with mean the same as x and variance will be 3 squared upon n that is 12 in this case right so these are my first three steps first I declare my null and alternative hypothesis then step 2 I take a sample and I find x bar step 3 I uh, declare that x bar follows a normal with mean the same as uh, x and variance 3 squared upon n right so my next step is going to be finding my acceptance region and my rejection region right so let me just decrease the size of this yeah all right so my Next step is finding my acceptance and rejection region. So first I will find the value of Z critical. Now, now let's say the question says that uh, carry, out an, uh, carry out a hypothesis test claiming that the mu has decreased at a significance level of let's say five percent right so at a significance level of five percent I have to test my claim so I'll find the z critical value at 0.95 percent right because if I draw it uh, if I draw my well curve this region needs to be my rejection region right that if my of z calculated lies in this region I will reject null hypothesis and will conclude that 
mean is less than 60 milliliters right so I need to find Z critical Z critical is this point so to find Z critical this area is 0 0.05 and this area is 0 0.95 so my z value at the corresponding area is minus 1.645 so my z critical value is minus 1.645 my law my next step is going to be calculating z cal so this is basically my x bar minus the mu upon the variance that is sigma over root n right so my x bar is 59.1 my mu is 60 my variance six, oh sorry my standard deviation is 3 over root 12 so and this equals to 59.1 minus 60 upon 3 divided by root 12 this amounts to 1 point zero three nine right so if I plot this point onto my bell curve this point will lie somewhere here this point is minus one point zero three nine right and this point is in the acceptance region right because the rejection region is every, everything beyond z critical right sorry everything behind z critical so this this the point lies in my acceptance region right so the answer the conclusion for this test is will be that since z ca calculated is greater than z critical It implies that the mean is not less than sixty. So we accept H not right so since my Z calculated value lies in the acceptance region I can safely conclude that the company is not cheating customers or the mu is still 60 milliliters that my claim that mu has decreased is incorrect